Grand Theft Auto 6 has now revealed brand new information relating to the gameplay trailer 2 alongside a ton of amazing things added to the new official map. Before we showcase the major news in today's video, I find it quite interesting that GTA 6 is already the second most viewed trailer on YouTube being that we've only gotten one trailer so far. So do you think this may surpass the brand new 361 million view trailer? Let me know down in the comments regards to trailer one it's quite interesting that the joker being showcased in that reveal trailer is now actually stating he no longer wants to sue rockstar but he does want to work with him so check out this new clip it's kind of interesting gta gta we gotta talk take two we gotta talk i'm really not trying to sue y'all so i'm gonna give y'all extra month Hit me up, let me voice the character. Let me voice the character. Give me more storyline in the game. And give me a few mil. Give me a royalty to deal off of it. Let's make let's make history happen, man. Y'all see what I did for the game. We made news, we made the blogs, everybody's covering me. Everybody love me, man. Everybody know me at the GTA 6 Joker, the Florida Joker. Find somebody else in Florida, let alone in Florida, the whole state of Florida, Miami, that that character is betrayed off of. Stop playing with me, GTA 6. Where's my money? Call me. Let's make this deal happen. I ain't trying to do all this low lawsuit lawyers, all this and that, but if I got to, I will. Y'all got a month. They hit me up, let me voice the character, throw me some bread, let's work. GTA, we gotta talk, take two, where my money at, let's go. So give me your overall thoughts regards to what you guys watch and if you guys think he should be compensated because it looks like he's being a pretty good guy here alongside the fact that he definitely is a person of persistence and has been making a lot of videos and also just a lot of eyeballs have been watching this and they've obviously drawn a lot of attention to him but not just that, GTA 6 as well. As a full-time YouTuber, I spend most of my day at my gaming setup. That's why the desk I use is my most important piece. FlexiSpot hooked me up with their premium standing desk, the E7 Pro. Assembling this desk was done in the matter of no time. Putting together was such an easy process. I was blown away with how cool it looked after. This desk's amazing feature is the power to customize the height of it while working either sitting down or standing up so you can work efficiently while standing up and stretching your legs. I wanted to see the strength in the desk so I put it to the ultimate test by sitting on the desk while powering up and down and there was not even the slightest change moving with ease it's so sturdy that here's a glass of water full to the brim on the desk and i'm using the desk not a single drop of water comes out flexi spot provides all kinds of standing desks and ergonomical chairs to meet your demands if you want a premium standing desk for daily use you can check their e7 pro c frame if you are on a limited budget you can choose the e2 model costing only 150 dollars and you can get the basic standing function. Use code YTBNY30 and get yourself 10% off on orders over $500. GTA 6 publisher Take-Two has scheduled their first earning call of the year being now on February 8th and here's what you guys should expect. So the trailer numbers and how well they did alongside the teasers that are upcoming for Rockstar and also new information regards to the official window on release date of GTA 6. Press, I mean a lot of your investors at least when I talk and they want, when's the ship date for Grand Theft Auto? That's the first question, so when is it? <laughs> so we leave the announcements about upcoming titles to our labels, and uh, we, we have said we have a very robust pipeline of titles, and we have a great outlook for fiscal 25, where we've reiterated our belief that we'll generate about $8 billion in net bookings and over a billion dollars in adjusted operating cash flow. So pretty exciting time, but we haven't spoken about the specific release schedule, and we have titles coming from all of our labels. Uh, uh, including great releases, we hope, coming from Zynga. Take-Two being the main investors behind Rockstar alongside GTA 6, it's also expected to release in January and or March of 2025 based on the Take-Two's forecast, which they've anticipated $8 billion in revenue for the year of 2025, which ends on the 31st of March. Being that their conference call is February 8th, could we get more revealing things regards to the overall forecast? 
forecast of what their revenue output may be and maybe even a closer date regards to trailer 2 now being officially here considering we've gotten a lot of leaks regards to what we may be able to see within that trailer but on top of that we're definitely going to be getting a lot of news on February 8th on what's to expect for take 2 considering GTA 6 is the biggest project they're working on and also the most eyeballs are on GTA 6 as of now Oh, I need to be on no pixel RV. I used to be. I used to be. And then, how about this year? I used to be on no pixel. Then I started working on the fucking, on GTA 6. And they told me I couldn't do RP anymore because it kind of goes against. They had this whole speech like, you know, like what if somebody took your album and re-recorded it and more people were listening to that. Then I'm like, I, I, okay, I kind of get that, but I was having a good time. All right, that's fine. Then I started working on the, working on the game with them. And then uh, then they teamed up with the people that, that kind of like make the RP shit. Wow. <laughs> and I'm like, wait a minute, what? <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, bitch, shit! Y'all told me I couldn't do this shit. And y'all teamed up with the people that make the that enable the RP shit to happen. Anyways, whatever. Um, being that the Super Bowl is on February 11th, the Kansas City Chiefs versus the San Francisco 49ers. Do you guys think they may integrate something regards to GTA 6 on the actual sphere? Because you guys may have remembered Fortnite did this for the OG event and how big that was. But do you think they could do it for GTA 6? Because it's already been done by video games. Now, in the fact of it all, I think Grand Theft Auto could definitely take that spot considering there's a lot of people and the advertising would be phenomenal, especially the fact of it's the Super Bowl. New reports have led for the fact that Stephen A. Smith may actually be on the radio for GTA 6 because it's also showcased that on his actual X account, I do love me some Vice City. Being that this is a main factor of what we can expect here inside of GTA 6 and the overall theme in which you can always also see here's a bunch of cover art and which is now going to be expected to be released inside of the brand new GTA trailer 2. My prediction is inside a trailer 2 we most likely can expect ourselves an outer view such as like an airport and or some sort of plane gameplay that is going to be officially revealing the new vehicles that will finally be introduced here inside of GTA 6 and everything. So be sure you're here on GTA Central, drop a like, subscribe, and I my friends will catch you on the next breaking news information video. Peace out.